So last week I caught Tom Rothman on the red carpet for the premiere of The Life of Pi, which opened the 50th annual New York Film Festival. Of course, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to ask him if the Terminator franchise should be afraid of his upcoming sci-fi flick Robopocalypse, and Rothman answered, baby, everything should be afraid. Bold words or simply the truth? I'm leaning towards truth, as the film isn't set to come out until 2014, but is already making headlines. Now, what first put this film adaptation of the New York Times best-selling sci-fi novel on Hollywood's radar was none other than Steven Spielberg signing on to direct. His name, combined with the book's title, seemed like a match made in marketing heaven. I mean, not since someone in Los Angeles came up with the term Carmageddon to describe the closing of the city's vital 405 freeway has Hollywood so perfectly captured the giddy anticipation of a shamelessly exciting event. Seriously, it just brings a smile to one's face, and hopefully an instinctual need to buy a movie ticket. Now, the reason I reference the Terminator franchise is that Robopocalypse imagines what would happen if Skynet were to become self-aware for reals. But while Skynet, a military program, simply wanted to rule the Earth, Robopocalypse's Arcos wants to protect the Earth and is appalled by stuff like the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Yeah, that's a real thing. So swapping zombies for robots, Robopocalypse has a similar feel to The Walking Dead in World War Z and is written by a guy who actually has a PhD in robotics. He based the book on real-life robotics research and development. That means when you're watching the current indie comedy Robot and Frank, just remember that Frank Langella's initial instincts that it would kill him in his sleep aren't too far off. And the Robopocalypse hype just keeps on growing. Spielberg is eager to sign up two of Hollywood's hottest stars, Chris Hemsworth and Anne Hathaway, as well as James Bond's new Q, Ben Wyshaw. But perhaps the most interesting aspect of the film so far is Rothman's involvement. CEO of Fox Films Entertainment, he was forced out of his job earlier this month. And while there are similarities here to how Rich Ross was also forced out of his post at Disney for rubbing his peers and filmmakers the wrong way, the big difference here is that Rothman got results at the box office. While Ross oversaw the clunker John Carter during his short tenure, Rothman has overseen Fox for 18 years and shepherded films like Avatar and Titanic. He is also said to have championed the studio specialty unit Fox Searchlight, which he founded. But almost as soon as Rothman handed in his letter of resignation, Spielberg graciously scooped him up to co-produce Robopocalypse, which Rothman had already been helping Spielberg develop at Fox. So when Rothman says everything should be afraid, perhaps what he means is Hollywood should be afraid of Rothman's revenge. What do you think? Can anyone match or top James Cameron's evil robots of the future? Be sure to write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.